Hello everyone. Our travels take us to Odisha on the east coast of India. Our first half is at Ramchandi, about 8 kilometers south of Konark, where the Kushabhadra River meets the Bay of Bengal. There, along empty stretches of pristine beach, lies the famous Odisha golden crab, Ossipod breviconis. We hired a boat to take us to the sandbar opposite the jetty. Our boatman, also a local fisherman, Ramesh, undertakes to show us the famous gold meter. He started digging at a burrow. Note the secondary entrance shaft. Success does not come easy. Golden crab feed on organic matter, such as the decomposing carcass of this olive ridley turtle. Ramesh has spotted fresh traces of another crab at its burrow. They can go down 1.3 meters into the sand. Difficult to reach. A grim reminder of havoc caused by cyclones over the Bay of Bengal. Ramesh doesn't give up. He spotted another fresh burrow. Yeah. And strikes it rich. He holds it by the claws and passes it on to me. Like other ghost crabs, the golden crab has a box-like trapezoidal body and one claw is larger than the other. The large eye stalks are in their protective sockets. They can be projected out to give 360 degree vision. The styles or prolongations at the end are for detecting vibrations in the sand. Note the stridulating ridge, diagnostic of Ossipod brevicornis. We release the golden crab. It's off. It can travel at an astonishing 15 kilometers per hour over sand. It's wonderful that pristine beaches like this still exist and I hope they continue to remain so. That was scenic Ramchandi, an endless stretch of unspoiled beach. When you go there, keep an eye out for the golden crab burrows. They are an important ecological indicator of human disturbance. Don't forget to like and to subscribe and we'll see you at our next destination.